Eli the electronics guy here, but the teacher guy, just finishing up my day here at the classroom. Uh, everybody's really liked my last Insta360 video, so figured I'd come on and do another quick update and uh, kind of hit some details that people have been asking about. So right now you are actually watching me on the Insta360 and it is actually connected to my A10 Mini Extreme here in the classroom. So that's why the uh, camera is pointing at a monitor, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell the Insta360 to go ahead and start tracking me. And you're gonna see here, it's gonna follow me from my desk now uh, up to the whiteboard. So that's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about today is the whiteboard feature. So right now I might be up here in the front of the classroom, kind of going back and forth, talking to my students. We might be talking about good cyber hygiene, um, you know, now, so I'll grab my, my dry erase board and I might start coming up here. Uh, let's talk about PII, so personal identifiable information, you know. Okay, what could PII be? And, um, you know, somebody says date of birth. Okay, well, so date of birth, that could be something. Your social security number, so SSN, you know, all this kind of stuff is our PII. But now I want it to, the Insta360, instead of following me, I want it to maybe pick up this exactly. So what I can do is I can give it a V symbol. And you're gonna notice here, it's gonna zoom out. I'm gonna step out of frame now. And you'll notice it's gonna go ahead and zoom straight into what I was talking about. Now it's no longer tracking me. So maybe I wanna come in here and I wanna highlight this section or you know, we might draw something else. And you'll see here, it's still getting me in frame, but right now it's not tracking me. As I walk, it's locking in on there. So if I wanted to start tracking me again, I just need to get into video frame, go ahead and hold up my hand that flat palm, actually I need to give it the V symbol to stop that, and now it's gonna go ahead and start tracking me again. So now as I move over to here, it's gonna come right back. So I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, they don't really talk about how the whiteboard function works. So what I have here in my classroom, I'm actually gonna go ahead um, and grab the Sony ZV-1. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna walk over here uh, to my desk, and you notice it's still tracking me even though my head's turned, and now I'm back over here at my desk. Um, and then normally this is where I kind of leave it because this is my workstation. I'll normally just go ahead and hold up my hand there. And now that locks my camera and it doesn't actually track me. So, okay, so let me show you what I got up here at the whiteboard. So up on the whiteboard, I've taken the uh, little square pieces that the Insta360 link have sent. So these little stickers. And what I've done is I've actually stuck them to um, little like business card magnet holders. So it lets me move those around. So I have one in each of the corners. So I have one up there and then I have one down there and then two on that side. So what that lets me do is I can move those around because I have a pretty big whiteboard in my classroom and I can actually move those to the different sections and then the link, Insta360 link, um, can actually then zoom in on those different sections. So that's what I've done. I just thought I'd show everybody. Um, I really like the Insta360 here in the classroom. Um, like I said, it, it, if you go look at the other video, it's right here, kind of just dangling from the ceiling. Uh, we actually have it on a pole that goes up to the, uh, the drop ceiling. So makes it really nice uh, here in the front of the classroom. So hopefully you all like that, uh, seeing the uh, whiteboard feature functionality.